Hey everybody, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we're making a antiquarian run, and uh, we're gonna go full darkness, <laughs> which I'm sure is gonna work out fantastic. Uh, it's a level five champion run in the Wield. Uh, we're taking out Revere the End, Walter, uh, Jeff, and of course Bella, our level six and only antiquarian. Uh, in terms of trinkets, we've gone with this combo that I really like, Last Light and Martyr's Halo. So we just spam Invigorating Vapors, we buff Protection, we get extra healing. It's kind of crazy. Uh, Jeff, we're going to go with the Repost and the extra melee um, crit chances. Uh, for Walter, we're going the Cudgel Widget for Stun and the Focus Ring, extra accuracy and crit on him. And then lastly, on Revere the End, we're going the Holy Orders for the Virtue, Chant, De-Stress, Death Blow Resist, all very nice. And then the Daruma. So taking a very small hit to his damage, but anybody that he hits, um, we're going to try and debuff to increase the crits from the other guys. So it should be okay. We can also use it um, with Zealous Accusation if we want to hit multiple targets and uh, go from there. In terms of provisions, so we're only we're bringing out all the food because it's free. Um, I'm going to bring out Anti-Venom because we're going to the wield. I think Anti-Venom's good here. Uh, we're bringing some shovels for the obstacles, some medicinal herbs, and a small amount of bandages for some of those curios that we might run into, just to maximize the gold that we bring out. Uh, some keys, because I'm hoping we get some critical scouting from these guys. I think their scouting chances are quite high. Um, actually, hold on a second. We have something that increases scouting. Yeah, here. I wonder if... You know what? Let's do this. Let's take this one. Uh, I don't really need the Hound's Watch because we have the Bandit Scent that we're going to use. So we'll prevent Nighttime Ambush that way. Then maybe we do a Scouting Chance and hopefully we can get like a Critical Scout and find a cool room. Anyways, let's see how she goes. Today's vlog comes from Alex B who writes for Igor the Liar, our Bogatir. Uh, before we went far on our mission to the Cove, Bella almost died. I would be damned if anybody died by my side again. Not like Mavis. That Baron can still suck it, or still stick it so far up his bug behind, up his bug behind, that the people in the Sunward Isles can hear his screams. Then we encountered it, the thing from the stars. Not even the smarty pants in our hamlet have a proper name for it. Bella got behind me immediately. I wouldn't blame her. I'm exceptionally strong and have fought much worse. The fight went well for a bit, but after a while, the monstrosity got crazy resilient. We couldn't lay a scratch on the thing. It was hopeless. Hey, we made it out. We made it out. Could have been way worse. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. So I have him in this... Out this evil. I have him starting in this back position so that we can open with repost going forward. Um, we get 100% healing when we're eating as well. Oh, did I call this guy... I think I called him Dexter a couple of times. My bad. Okay, so I'm not going to touch this. This we want to cleanse dollars. Let's actually go full dark here. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Get in there. Nice. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. So we need to do 100% of room battles. Oh, holy moly. We got it. Okay. Uh, let's head up here first. We're not going to grab that yet, because why would we? And I'm actually not going to grab anything. We can anti-venom this for treasure. Uh, trap disarms at 90 for these guys. Okay. So we'll head up here. We'll come down. We'll hit that curio on the way out. Same with whatever this one is. Just leave it for now. We just picked up a bunch of extra food, so food checks be damned. Okay, so we got a crone in the back. Might be a little problematic. Put some damage on the bombard. Embrace the darkness. Okay, Walter, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Buff dodge, buff prot, do some healing. Why not? Okay, we've been marked. We know what comes next. Um, we have a pretty good stun chance here. 140. Or we go Zealous Accusation and hope to debuff these guys. Either one's good, but I think... Let's try and stun one out. 
avoid some of that groping swipe or rend the mark that's coming in. Could stun here too. Sure. These guys are pretty slow too, so it's nice. Crits received. Crit mod plus four, crit mod plus nine, crit mod plus 11.5 at less damage. Not get it. Ringing ears, blurred vision. The end approaches. Let's go damage on. Oh, that hurts. Now I do have his heal unlocked just in case we feel the need to use it. Not doing a very good job of like focusing targets correctly here. Not get blighted though. Nice dodge, Walter. Nice crit up front, sure. Stress is actually building pretty quickly there. Let's set our repost up again. Oof, that sucks. There you go. Lead is on. No crits yet on this guy. Nice. Those crit heals. Holy crap. This fight is taking way too long. And we have nobody that can do... Um... Oh my god. We have nobody that can do... Uh, like, ignore prot. That's what I'm trying to get out. Good dodge. Just keep everybody cool. Nice, we get those crits to de stress the tad, but. Oh, the dodge? Really? So he's got, uh, what is it here? Perfectionist, yeah. Lead. Okay, so dead, finally. Let's go stun here now. Big crit, very good. What's Bella's speed? So Revere is three. Walter is six. Six on Bella. And improvement. There you go. Six damage around. That's fine. Let's get rid of this and see if we can get a decent crit here to finish. Or are we stun? We stun and get an extra heal in, I think. Nice crit, too. Why not? Okay. So, torch gone for money. We're not going to take crests. Um, onyx, I can make a decent argument for. I'll maybe ditch one shovel. Citrine, we won't have. I think that's fine. Okay, so stress is a little problematic here. There's an antique we definitely want. Uh, oh, I didn't realize we picked up these sandals. Those can go. Uh, the holy water, we'll get rid of that next. That was brought in by the crusader anyway. Okay. 
They do get extra healing from that. Wait, did I skip one? Yes, I did. No, not the cocoons, please. No! All right, fine. I guess that can happen. Oh, she actually... Oh, she triggered the tree. We didn't even use the, the anti-venom on her. Fair enough. So we'll go down here next. Curse of Vulnerability. Isn't that nice? Minus dodge and accuracy. We'll try and stun one out. I'm going to go for damage here with Walter instead of stunning this guy like we did last time. It's the exact same makeup. That dodge though. That dodge though. She must have rolled really low for initiative there because this level 2 or speed 2 was going before her. Okay, we've been marked. Ouch. Time to start dodging, team. Okay, the Bombard is down. Uh, the Crone. Let's go here. It's a fantastic dodge. Good for you. Good job. Let's uh, Zealous Accusation here. If anything, we're just going to stack these crits received. Since we can't really kill one outright anyways with all the prot. Damn. Hurts. His repost is going to be over. Frick, that dodge is insane. What is her dodge? 41. Yeah, let's eat a dog treat here. Nice. Resisted the bleed, unfortunately. 24% crits received, 16% crits received. I'm wondering if we should unlock his uh, healing skill. I don't think we haven't leveled up very high, though. A time to perform beyond one nice. Limit. Okay, so we're going to start stunning some out here. Got that crit. Set up our repose for Jeff. We're not marked here, but we are right in front, so. Very nice, Jeff. I think we'll camp soon. That way, hopefully, through the rest of the dungeon, we can get, like, maximum. Uh... Oh, I should have attacked him. Oh, well, we probably wouldn't have killed him anyway. We get the max out of our uh, buffs from camping. Another crit. Thank you. 30 stress. Jeez. Emerald acorn for the bogatier. Prod if we have gold. Mm, it's alright. I don't think... Uh... I mean, this is... We're not going to take these home. We're going to replace them with money anyway. So let's just leave it. A fortune waiting to be spent. Okay, so if I camp here, we've got one battle, two battles, and then who knows? Probably have two more. Maybe I should go through here, grab the secret door, take this battle, and then rest there. Maybe that's what we'll do. Don't touch it. Just hoping that we don't hit the stress check. This 
gonna be big money. There it is. Handsome reward for a task well performed. Okay, that seems pretty solid to me. Let's just get him maxed out there. That's pretty sick. Oh, the mass grave. Uh, I don't think we want to be doing that right now. The last time we fought that, it was pretty intense. That was one of the coolest, like, mini-boss things I've ever seen. And, of course, <laughs> first thing she does is get to crit. <laughs> all right. All right. This guy we're not so worried about. we got to avoid getting crit, though. Oh. Set up a repost off of him. Just leave Bella alone. Let's do a uh, force guard here. Oh, I should have... Uh, what am I doing? I should have force guarded with him. That was my bad. I was just looking for somebody tanky. Get rid of this. Okay, bleeds on. She's toast. Clear this off. Go for a stun. And then we can get another heal in. Uh, let's go for crits. Plus four, plus fifth, plus nine. Didn't get it either way. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Let's do like so. This is herbs. 90 stress. Okay, so we're going to camp here. We'll have to do some de-stressing. A spark without kindling is a goal. That heals everybody up. We have uh, prevent nighttime ambush here. We don't need the scouting chance now. So if we want to de-stress the entire party and reduce stress on everybody for the next battles. It's expensive, though. Minus 20 stress that he doesn't really need. Honestly, wouldn't mind. Hmm. That's pretty good. A 75% chance to minus 20 stress. Or we take the guaranteed for one point more. But that means that we can't go with... Um, any other buff options. Let's flip the coin. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I think we take the damage and accuracy on melee skills here. Or do we just focus on de-stressing? Maybe we do that. Let's do this, and then she has... Doesn't she have something? Yeah, minus 50% stress for some battles. Let's do that. All right. I'm happy with that. In Radiance, may we find victory. Okay, let's carry on. I will try this with him. He's got a little bit of stress. Very good. Shovel, right? Let's get rid of this. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. Okay, team. Let's motor. Ooh, big ass ectoplasms. We did get the surprise, which is nice. 
Mexico dog treats here. We'll try and take out these guys. If we can. He's the only one we can target with him. And then we'll set up a repost. Nice crit, Jeff. That's actually so big. That's good. You know what? I'm going to put damage on, see if it's possible to kill this thing. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Damn it. To a killing blow. That's okay. That's fine. He hasn't split yet. Now I'm wondering if we should continue going for crits or we stack bleed here. Still a pretty good chance. And bleed is pretty high resist too. We can remove some of that, but we might not be around for as long. Or we just go with resetting the repost. Well struck. Looks pretty good when he crits, but. Oh, come on. Let us go. Nice. He didn't split. Champion falls. I would have liked to get like one heal in there. And driven into the mud. Okay, we don't have any. You know what, let's check anyways. Oh, wrong guy. Well, okay. Minus 20% HP, that's not insignificant. Damn it. I guess we'll try and pick these guys off first. Really nice crit. And then our stun, I think we hit the big guy. Oh, the crits. Coming in clutch right now. He speed seven. Uh, let's bleed this now. A 40% prot to work through. So you hit him right in the junk. Uh, bleed resist and stuff is probably a bit too late at this point. Let's just keep stacking. We're going to power through this prot that you wouldn't imagine. Probably stun again. Never mind. Big crits there. Eight damage. Let us go first, please. Let us go first. Very nice. We try stunning. 140 versus 90. Nah. Six, six, six. He's dead. Slowly, awesome. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Very nice. Uh, okay, so we have a blockage here. Maybe, we, do we get rid of keys? It's kind of nice to find additional gold sometimes. I definitely want to save our food. Oh, let's get rid of this. I didn't see that we were sitting on those. Okay. Nature herself. A victim to the spreading I hope we get a good scout here. Malform. Chances are lower, I think, because it's darker. Uh, we did buff it. Oh, no, we didn't. Never mind. I sometimes confuse the um, bandit sense with, like, extra scouting chances. It really just affects the surprise aspect. Holy shit. How is that possible? From full to zero. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh... 
If I do this, that gives him... So we heal for three, five, six, seven. Or we do this, and we get four. I think we have to go here. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's going to suck. Oh, it's two damage for five rounds. Okay, I misread that. Frick. Okay, anti-venom, thank God. And let's just heal up here. That's a massive crit from a little spider. What in the actual balls? Good crit. Singular strike. That's what I love about this game. Everything can be going just peachy. And then one little doohickey comes in here and screws everything over. Let's get rid of these guys in the back. Come on. Oh, uh, no. Okay, that's a problem. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Okay, that's big. As victories mount, so too will resistance. That's uh that was scary. That was scary. Wow. Finding the stuff is only the first test. What a find. Now it must be carried home. Uh, let's get rid of the debuffs there. Extra dodge, I think we'll leave. Where are we at? So our camping buffs are gone. I'm going to keep the anti-venom. The keys I could maybe make an argument for, but... Shovels we need. This is our play area. I think we just get rid of it. All right, well, that's the risk we take playing in the dark. Those monster crits are buffed. They get higher accuracy, higher damage, higher chances that we're surprised, which thankfully we can kind of counter. I don't know what the exact um, chance is behind the scenes. I'm hoping there's like one more battle, but you never know. Awesome. Less awesome. Ambushed by foul invention. Okay, we have enough for two more food checks. Nice. Bandages, I think. Bandages, I think. Frick. Okay, this is not bad. This is okay, I think. This is okay. Big, huge crit there. And got the bleed. Not quite enough, but... We can set up a repost off of her. From the back. And we'll stun one of these, hopefully. As long as we don't whiff this repost. Nice. Now, these guys could still get some big crits in. Let's be cautious. See? That's fantastic. Speed seven, so pretty good chance these guys go first. Yep, here they come. Clarified in a single strike. Prince, keep coming. Jesus. Six damage around. Oh my God. We are not like this dodge buff does really not help <laughs> with this extra accuracy they seem to be getting. was not that good. I think we're going to have to heal here. Oh, that's terrible. There you go, Jeff. Good job. The dodge on Revere. Jesus is tight. Six damage. You know what? I'm gonna I gotta power through with healing. I would love to be attacking there, but I gotta try and get him up because we don't know if this 
we definitely have another room battle, so we're not out of this. Now we can lay down the stuns. I'm going to keep healing. The ticks are much lower now. And we've got damage from Jeff and Revere coming up. We need 12. Crits received. Plus 9 crit, plus 4. Don't think I can hit him there. Yeah. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. Ooh. Plus 3. He's lower, so let's use this. A dizzying fall. Uh, hmm. Seraph only. Stun skill chance, minus bleed, and minus virtue. Okay. The anti venom, I kind of feel like we kind of, I think we got to save that. So I'm going to ditch the keys. We're almost maxed out in here, anyways. Come on, give it to me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, really? That is quite bad. That is quite bad. Grievous injury. Palpable fear. Okay, this kind of negates a bit, I guess, a little bit. I'm going to take a chance to move her here. Let's go on this guy. I do have Holy Lance. Let's start shuffling back up there. Seven to thirteen. Hmm. Let's stun out. I can't set his repost up from the front line either, which kind of sucks. I think I can Holy Lance again, though. Okay, guys, time to start dodging. Come on now. Come on now. Oof. It's like every hit we take is a crit, it feels like. There we go, baby. I'm going to save this Blight in case things get worse. Or uh, the uh, Anti-Venom, sorry. In case this stacks higher. Oh, do I heal here? I know we've got this. I, I haven't talked about this, but I did intentionally unlock the uh, marking targets. It just feels like we haven't had a chance to even consider using it. Um, maybe we use it here now. In this scenario, he doesn't need to heal. We can throw damage at this guy, but we can get rid of some prot on either. He gets extra damage, we get extra damage. Only 15 health there. I do not like that. And we have to actually be back and able to take advantage of this. Come on, hold him, hold him, hold him. Frick. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Okay, so now that blight stacks sufficiently high enough. Mark damage, bleed. Okay, so he's dead. Woo wee! Lead on. Ah. 
Nice dodge. Good resist, too. He is going to tick down to zero. Let's get rid of that. I might have... Eh, I maybe should have saved it there. We do have food to heal after this fight, but... Let's stun if we can. Nice. So now if we can... Yeah. That's what I was a bit worried about, but... He's stunned, so... We'll be able to heal. <laughs> this run is <laughs> freaking dicey. Three damage he'll take. But we might be out of here. This expedition at least promises success. Nice. Yeah, I think we take we take that. That's a lot of cash. Corruption is an endless the ring for uh, the but Crimson Curse. Must be it's okay. Fought. Very nice. Casual, close to 50 grand. Get some of our guys, all of our guys to level 6. The Fitz has got to go. His thing has got to go. Poor caretaker. I fear hundred percent scouting chance in Sunward Isles. Affected him. All right, guys, look at this. Look at our freaking level six squad right now. Like, it's a real thing that's happening. It's a real thing. Uh, so now we have both those bosses available, which we talked about previously. Um, my, I wonder if we could... Oh, I, no, I can't take the Antiquarian to this boss. But I'm considering taking the Antiquarian here. I just don't know if uh, that's wise or not. Just to, like, I'm trying to be a little greedy with our cash. And may maybe that's maybe that's too greedy. Let's take a look at uh, who's coming in here. Ooh, nothing. Absolute garbage. Garbage. Shieldbreaker and two duchesses. That's all we can upgrade, and none of those guys are coming in. So, alrighty. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. What do we need to do for stress here? Uh, in case you missed it, we have uh, the puppet theater up. We have the bank up. And we have the performance hall. So the, the Jester and the Snake Charmer get less stress. They have fast, more speed. And the Jester has extra finale damage. So, kind of nice. That's quite a bit. I guess we put them all in here, eh? Pretty expensive. Nomad wagon. I mean, we we're starting to build these up. Rarities and curios, sold at a profit, of course. And we'll start keeping an eye on that as our funds continue to rise. Okay, so now it's a question of: Do we go to this run in the wield, or do we do a high-level ruins run? I. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I kind of want to try it with Bella because I want we want more money. Like, the interest from the bank is only valuable if we have a lot of money in here to begin with. And if we have, like, 100000 that's only five grand a week. And then we don't want to really go below that so we can kind of actually make what would feel like a significant uh, sum of money. So since she's busy, I guess we go here to a Brigand 12-pounder. And I think we probably want to use like a a marking party against the Brigand Twelve Pounder, right? He's the is, isn't he like a big ass thing? Okay, since I was like so unsure of what I wanted to build, uh, I've gone with <laughs> I've gone with both a marking and a bleeding party. Uh, so we're gonna put Fane in front here. Uh, he's upgraded as high as he can be. We've got Reap. We're gonna have the mark uh, that he can apply. 
Uh, maybe we could give him... We definitely have, like, high bleed chances already. We're buffing it with this. And then we've got the Revenant's guys where he's taking extra damage to the target's low. So I think for a boss, that's, like, really good. Once he gets past that 50% HP mark, there's still a few turns left to get out of that. And then if his HP is below, we get another 50% or another 25% damage at the cost of some uh, additional stress. Um... I'm just wondering if maybe we want to take something like the uh, Koshinbu head or whatever so that we can 50% chance to auto mark targets so that we can always be attacking. This also is e even improved if the target is below 66%. Um, hmm. I wonder. Oh, that Koshinbu's head is only... Uh, that's only for a bounty hunter anyways, isn't it? Let's just double check that. Yeah, bounty hunter only. Okay, answers that question. Next, we're going to go Dexter with uh, bleed, some stun. Uh, we do have a mark here, and it's nice to get rid of some prot as well. Um, maybe we should have that. I can't remember if the brigand has the um, has prot or not. And I realized, too, the brigand is the one that has it's like the cannon right and he brings in the guys to light the cannon musketeer with the damage and crit versus marked buckshot with armor piercing this free action and then we have a stun here so we have a couple of stuns available these stuns are only good if he's in position two which i don't really want to do here so we do have some more stuns there and then lastly our lamia for healing uh some stress reduction some uh pulling bypassing of guard that kind of stuff um Extra crits received, which is kind of nice. Uh, we've got the... Where is it? Prevents nighttime ambush there. And then the rest... Let's get rid of this one and this one. We'll take accuracy damage and crit on ranged. This is a very minor stress relief, but sure. And then her stuff. Let's get rid of that one. 30% chance monster surprise is nice, but it doesn't prevent nighttime ambush. Okay, so we'll leave it at that, and uh, we'll go out to fight the Brigand 12-pounder with these guys. Thank you so much, guys. We'll have uh, a good time in the next couple episodes. It's going to be intense. See you soon. Bye.